r slash ask reddit, what was once highly respected that is now a complete joke. The History Channel, The Learning Channel, MTV. Bank Managers. They used to have serious power in local communities. Now they have to be glorified customer service reps a lot of the time. McAfee Antivirus. Blizzard, the video game company. The Food Pyramid. Staying at a job out of loyalty. Craftsman Tools. The Guinness Book of World Records. Once a well-established and professional collection of every impressive human feat, now a quick ego boost for rich kids that have barely enough talent to balance an egg on their forehead for 15 seconds on a July afternoon at exactly 11.55 am while wearing a Hello Kitty onesie. People are going to reflexively deny its initial popularity, but Facebook. It even used its exclusivity as its primary marketing tool during its initial launch only for colleges. The name Nimrod. In ancient Rome Nimrod was a mighty hunter, and now it means fool or incompetent because Bug Bunny called Elmer Fudd a Nimrod sarcastically, and the audience didn't catch the sarcasm or reference, or both. Edit. As many have pointed out Nimrod is in the Bible, and some are suggesting the name is older than that, so I'm striking the Roman reference. Sears. The Russian military. The American presidency does not hold the same esteem it once did. Bill Cosby. Working in the educational system. Being a teacher still sounds worthy of respect, but working as one is a joke. Kids are free to do whatever they want, you're barely allowed to punish bad behavior in any way, school politics stop from changing anything, parents always blame you etc. Rudy Giuliani. Wells Fargo Hobbies I am a hobbyist musician, and will never try to make money off of my music. I simply enjoy creating it with zero expectations. Hustle culture ruined a lot of that because now every time I share my music with people, it turns into a conversation about monetization or how I'm wasting my time on something. It's hard to even find like-minded people who want to collaborate without it turning into some big thing. Time enjoyed is not time wasted. Edit, wow, this blew up. Thanks for the replies. Keep doing what you love. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there, but don't be pressured to do something you don't want to do. The world is full of people who want what you have, trust me, don't let them take it if it's taking a chunk of you with it. Honestly I feel like in the past 6, years, especially in the past 2 to 3 years since the pandemic, people as a whole of all backgrounds, ethnicities, political views etc., have had a massive decline in trust and faith in many societal institutions and perceived people of power and prestige, as well as each other as human beings. This is a major part of what's leading to our world seeming so much more fractured and unstable and I think it's only going to get worse. Elon Musk Most celebrities TBH We are a family here said by anyone who isn't your family. The Walking Dead Pretty sure it went from number one show on TV to on life support after the fourth season. Netflix Originals Kanye At least to Kanye fans. Ditto with R. Kelly. Edit how the hell is this my highest voted comment face with tears of joy? Ellen Landline telephones The house phone used to be a vital link to the outside world. It's how you talk to friends and family far away, interact with businesses, call for help in an emergency, etc. But once junk calls were allowed to spiral completely out of control, the phone became a nuisance. As someone I saw said a while back, a Gen Z person would sooner jump on a live grenade than accept an incoming call from an unknown number, and that's in the context of mobile phones, which don't get nearly as much spam. Wired phones are almost completely useless today. The Supreme Court 
journalists, and no this isn't some right-wing fake news thing. Consumerism has turned hard-hitting journalism into clickbait bullshit because that's the only way they can turn a profit anymore. There's still real journalists out there but no new ones are being born, very sad. The three branches of US government. Also, accountability and leadership. Healthcare. I've been in it 20 years it's changed so much. It's a joke. I'm in USA so. It's just gotten more corporate. The news. The American political system. News anchor people. The US Postal Service. A decades-long campaign to smear their reputation coupled with legislation designed to cripple the service has turned them from the reason Santa Claus isn't institutionalized in Miracle and 34th Street to a comedian's punching bag. And yeah, last time I went to the post office the service was terribly slow, but they had one window open in a building with five windows. Seemed kind of understaffed. DND slash Wizards of the Coast after the new OGL came out all respect for that game and company went away. Apologies if this has been mentioned, but my husband who is 15 years older than me told me that he remembers when Bravo was a network that focused on art slash educational programming and indie films exploding head. The Office of Prime Minister in the UK Government. It's been a clown show for at least 6 years. Me LMAO DR Martin's Boots A British institution, you bought a pair, they lasted for years. Alas, private equity got involved, manufacturing was sent offshore, and the quality went down like a submarine. You are better off buying a pair of boots from the company that used to make them for DM, than a genuine pair of DMS nowadays, their quality is a shadow of what it once was. Air travel. Will Smith. Quora before it turned into the new Yahoo. Answers. Kevin Spacey. Pluto is a planet cold face. Walking into a workplace to inquire about a job in person. Research. OSHA. Not even their fault either. There's been so much lobbying against them that the red tape is so insane that they can't effectively regulate workers' exposure to toxic chemicals. The Office of the President of the United States. Used to be a dream, an aspiration. Now it's a joke. The Catholic Church. The Monarchy. The American Flag, as in you. S. Citizen. I know this will ring different to different people, but when I used to come across the flag it was usually displayed to show respect and pride. Now when I see it out in public, it's usually tied to some slobbish asshole who has it attached to their truck bed, or slaps offensive bumper stickers that mix the flag with some shitty slogan. I feel like most the times I come across the flag now, it's being used by an asshole to express fuck you. Not taking sick days when you are actually sick. Used to be looked at as great dedication, but is now looked at as irresponsible slash liability. Politicians. Truth. Phrenology. Hopefully homeopathy is next. Police. Blockbuster. Activision Blizzard. From creating great games with high notoriety to being bullied for their poor choice of marketing, their inability to create finite games without immense paywall or abusive in-game merch and their multiple try to deceive their players. From World of Warcraft, Diablo 3, Starcraft, Call of Duty franchise to Diablo Immortal being hewed in Blizzacan by their hardcore fan and trolled. Battlefront 2 being a gotcha pay to play with the community manager on reddit having the most downvoted comment of the site. Call of Duty Warzone 2. Zero being a buggy mess and Warzone 1 locked away behind Modern Warfare 1 multiplayer, that you now need to pay. Overwatch 2 being an update to Overwatch 1, 
less fun to play and without any way to earn free content in game without insane grind. And that's clearly only scraping the top here. They've done worst and I won't be able to list everything here. Edit, yeah I figured out Battlefront is from EA Games. It was so alike I've mistaken them. Yellow Pages Live Strong Bracelets Didn't pan out too well later on. Patriotism It's become nothing but a political tool for the right. The shoes that had LED lights in the sides. Sears Being a teacher Marriage, for a lot of people Netflix, I remember being able to rent any movie and get it in the mail but now they're cancelling shows with high ratings and making sub-PAR ones to compensate Better Business Bureau It's essentially a rebranded chamber of commerce, not some independent agency intent on ensuring good practices American-made products. That phrase used to mean quality. Products built by people getting paid a living wage. With unions being a thing of the past in most instances, and society's attitude shifting towards not giving two shits about pride in craftsmanship due to being squeezed by corporate overlords from every single direction, you get American-made products that wouldn't pass QC in any factory anywhere in the world. China has made such amazing strides in their process, that I truly believe most of their products coming from name brand companies, are more consistent and of better value than their American counterpart. Musical Gear is a great example. Chinese guitars are legit. They rival any American guitar in terms of what you get for your money. This isn't always the case but to me, the term American made now means a gamble that the thing you're buying could be great or it could be complete shit. Common decency. Social media has killed it. Now it's just a constant state of trying to own or one-up someone else. Conversation aren't had anymore, just shouting matches. And whoever is the loudest wins, no matter how stupid their point is. Unfortunately, education, facts, and subject matter experts. Everyone thinks they are an expert because they can Google something. Regardless of their conformation bias, everyone thinks they are an expert until reality fails their self-made degree or expertise. The Dunning-Kruger effect has made the previously stated skill sets a joke. The Federal Reserve, Big Banks, Wall Street. Remember when MTV used to play music? Tuxedos. They used to mean James Bond. Now they mean you're a waiter. Not that there's anything wrong with being a waiter. CNN, Fox. Shopping mall brands like Macy's, JCPenney, and Sears. A savings account. Used to be you could get at least 5% in the 70s 80s, some places got 8 to 10%, and a few got a crazy 14%. You could literally leave you life savings in a bank savings account and retire on the interest like you would on a well curated brokerage account today. Today's interest in a savings account is a joke, and not even a funny one. The national average yield is now 0.23%, and many banks have 0.2% or less for linked checking and savings, what many have. So if someone has $10,000 in the bank, they'll make $20 over the year. Only $200 if they've got $100,000. If you've got a brokerage account and getting a decent 8%, the difference is staggering. Bank savings accounts used to be great and respectable. Now they're a joke. Politicians across the board. Facebook. Congressman. The US. U.S. Supreme Court Game of Thrones after Season 8 was released The Media Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.